Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I am putting some Sort Quick on because I use prop money for this video and this video is Travel Tuesday on a Saturday. You know what? Just don't have room on Tuesday to release videos, so we're going to do Travel Tuesday on any day that I want to. I'm having so much fun doing these binders. This uh, video is a combination of Marlene's, The Life of a Pig Who Wants to Collect Memories and Not Things. Thank you so much for this, Marlene. I absolutely adore this book. That is in this binder. And then I have two of my own challenges in this binder here. And these are, uh, everything here is travel. And specifically travel for a trip to Italy. Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 70, 2, 4, 6, 8, 80, 2, 4, 6, 87, 88, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 100. I am realizing while I do want to use prop money in these binders, I may have to go to the bank and get real ones and twos like a couple hundred dollars worth and just use those in this binder and prop bills for everything else because I'm using up all my ones and twos in these binders. But we'll see, perhaps when I can start consolidating, it will not seem like I'm using up all my monies. Let's start with little pig here. Alrighty, I have my binder and I made this up. These are not as nice as Marlene's, right? She made her own little dashboards. I made these before I knew she was going to release them. And I have my 12 sided dice and this is my front or back of the page. So let's start. We are gonna go to number five, which is Italy. And it is the front of the page. So I am gonna scratch off one of these little things. Is there anything right down by Fred? No, let's scratch right here. And it's $1, fantastic. One dollar. Pop that right in there. Let's roll again. I'm not doing number five again. I'm doing number two and the back page. Number two is the pizza. Oh, that wasn't Italy. That was Paris, France. And I'm not doing the word challenge because I realized that's too much to do on. Just can't get it done. Maybe when it's the word challenge, I'll go through and do one of the covers. All right, pizza, pizza, and I'm doing the back side. Ooh, fun. I gotta color a piece of pizza. This is, let's go ahead and do a $7 piece of pizza. Okay, command decision here. I am not gonna try to color these fancy. It would just take too long. Let's do the outside. While I do love these, and if I was adult coloring, I would be happy to do these pieces of pizza in a wonderful multicolored array. This is a savings challenge video and I need to get it done. So let's just do the bread and the cheese. It's quite an assortment of food toppings on that as well. All right, so this is getting $7. Five and two is $7. And this is getting $7. Five and two is $7. Perfect. So now we have page four and one. So the front page. Oh! Yay. Let me make sure I'm on the right page here. One, two, three, yep, four. I get to do another scratch off. Fred Jr.'s down there taking it for the team so that little Miss Pig doesn't get eaten. Ooh, another $7. Well, these $7 are gonna get me today. That's okay. I am wanting to save money. I have over a year to save in this binder. No, I don't care if it takes it quickly. Alrighty. Now, let's do one more, at least. 
Ooh, 11. 11 is the Viking. I think I've done the Viking. I'm doing the same ones over. That's okay. Eventually, they all get done. And page two or side two. Oh, I get to play the Viking race. Yay! So this one, you're going to roll the die, and whatever it lands on, you're going to start moving. I do not want to roll the amount on this. That would be too much money, I think. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 36. Let's do $2, though. Let's do $2 for each roll, and that's the square in here. And then once the ship is across, you get to do the bonus sticker. So the reason I'm going to do the money is because eventually I want to get through all of these. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to get a red. Let's see what ship is going to start out in the lead. Six. Ship number six is going to start off in the lead. And it is getting ooh, $2. $2 for ship number six. Yay. All right. Got to play this game. And I can do it one more time in this book binder. Book binder. And that's number six. That's the Highland Cow. And I'm doing the front page of this one. All righty. I'm going to scratch. Hi, little Highland Cow. Little things are popping. Little cactus flyers are popping. And we have three. Now, one thing I may very well do with this book, since there's so many opportunities on the back for coloring and stuff, when a page is done, I very well may re-sticker it and just keep going until next year. $3 for this challenge. Two and three. And that is going in. And let's do at least one more. Number seven. Okay, so that's the next page. And the front. Another scratch off. Pretzels on the back. Let's do this one right here. We're gonna do this is gonna be the last no matter what. We'll move on. Seven dollars. Hey, that brings us right to about what I wanted to save. So that's pretty good. Five and seven. Perfect. And that one had, didn't have any money in it yet, so that was good. Okay, let's put this beautiful, wonderful book aside. Thank you, Marlene. I love my book. And let's start with The Girl Loves to Shop. Now I'm going to get my cards out. If you haven't got the back of these yet and you ordered this and you want them, these cards are so that you can separate the categories so that your, your story can unfold and you know that this is what you were wearing. This is how you got to whatever store you were going to. This is the place you went to, but the front doesn't match the back. This is what you bought. And this is how much you paid. These extra sets are for if you wanna fill in those amounts yourself. So let's start and see what this girl's story is gonna unfold. Dee's going shopping. So she put on her beautiful red swimming suit, got on her horse. Ow, that's going to hurt my thighs. Went to Taco Bell in my red swimming suit. I got some wine and I paid $8. All right, so Dee wanted to shop. So she put on her gorgeous red swimming suit, jumped on her horse, went to the Taco Bell, I guess through the drive-thru, unless they have a horse hitch up front. They might. Oh, well. Bought some wine and paid $8. I am going to get out the corresponding savings challenges. I can't find my little square paper. I will use this. Okay, so I'm going to get out the challenges. I will color in one of these. Each one of these is a dollar. That's this card right here. And I'm going to put a dollar in here. I have the low and then the high. That's why there's two cards in there. And then on the road, I got on the horse. Horse has gotten some riding done. It's a popular way to get around. And then I'm gonna put a dollar in here for this. There are numbers on here too, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute, how you can use those. And I went to Taco Bell. Well, that's nice. 
Taco Bell is not nice. Went to Taco Bell. Used a different color. That's okay. Another dollar at Taco Bell. And bought some wine right here. For another dollar. And I paid eight dollars. Put this back and grab a 10. I'm going to grab these two back and grab a 10. 10, 22 dollars. This time through, we're going to play it as if we don't have the cards. So it's going to be with dice. So the same thing. There's the card that says war. All right, so Dee wanted to go shopping. So she put on her number four, red bathing suit. Red bathing suit is the attire of the day, I guess. I did the cards so that the, the story could go quicker, more smoothly. The story, would, the story would unfold without stalls. So I wanted to go shopping. I put on my bathing suit. Bathing suit. And I rode my bicycle. Rode my bicycle on my bathing suit. That actually sounds pretty darn fun to me. a dollar. And then where did I go? I went to the coach store. <laughs> okay, there we go. See, this is the beauty and the fun of this challenge. I got on my bicycle in on I got on a bicycle while wearing my amazing red swimming suit. Stopped at the coach store. You know, Pretty spendy purses in there. And hope they have bike parking. And I bought a purse. Well, see, look, the purse went with the coach store. That was fortuitous. Because I went to the coach store and I bought the purse. All right. And this is getting one dollar. And I have realized through this that I really need to be doing $2 for each one of these so that I can get through the money. Therefore, after this video, I'm going to consult, I'm going to turn these into higher amounts. Next, let's play my travel game. In this game, I roll my three-sided dice. If you don't have a three-sided dice, you can do like one and two is one, three and four is two, five and six is three, or you could just choose one. But I'm going to roll this and I'm going to do what the savings challenge says because each one is a different travel adventure. So number three is a cruise adventure. And on the cruise adventure, I am going, taking a cruise venture and I'm going on my cruise ship. So I am going to pay for my cruise ship. And did I decide a value on my cruise ship is a dollar? Yes, it is just a dollar for my cruise ship. So, going on a cruise. Let's take this two out, or to put the two in and take the one out. So I'm going on a cruise. Now, to go on the cruise, I need to pay for three fees. All right, this got yucky, so I'm just gonna color it in. So when I go on my cruise, I go on my cruise ship, but I have to pay three additional dollars for my cruise fees, which are port fees and taxes, right? Now this is gonna have a total of $6 in it. And then I also get down to my cabin, check in, and then a wonderful porter comes over to help me out. And I realized I need to pay him tips and I'm going to pay him three sets of tips.
And y'all, I have given up on trying to do everything in the same color. I think this is the same color. I think it fades out. But you know what? I've just given up. I'm not that person, apparently. So let's put this two back again and grab this five. That six dollars is in here. And then now, as a bonus for this, if you would like, you can buy a drink. Last video, I did the leftover in here. And I put the amount in here and put it in there. And I am still, I'm going to, for now I'm using this. I'm going to develop a travel related, a travel related leftover loot. But this is going back to being a true drink. And so I am going to buy a drink for $2. And let's do a purple umbrella since I have the purple sitting right out here. Okay. So I'm buying a drink. $2. Okay, let's take another adventure. Two. Going on my second adventure, which is road trip. I'm going on a road trip. And yes, I did print these because I just do not like using the, um, I just don't like using the photo, the uh, laminated stuff. So here we go. I'm going to get in my car. My little car with the little black tires. Madeline has a light blue that she uses for the windows, but I'm not going to get that fancy. And that's on a different challenge. This challenge is not in my shop. If you, if you would like this challenge, let me know. I might consider putting it in my shop. However, I am trying to... Um, why don't I have any? Oh, I do have money in there. I am trying to add at least one more little destination type thing to it. And I haven't quite figured out what all those extra fees are going to be, but I guess I could always release it and then send those out to the people who purchased it, I guess. But this is, was uh, developed just for me in mind, but sometimes the stuff I create people want. Now, when I go on my road trip, I have to buy two gallons of gas. So this $1 car is going to cost me $2 for gas. So I'm going to color two of these. So that's six dollars. And need some road snacks. Always need road snacks. Let's have a bag of chips. And these are a dollar. And I have to pay $3 to map out my destination. Okay, so another $3. And now I have nine in this challenge. I'm putting these all back incorrectly. I am keeping the laminated ones in here because they do help keep the envelope stiffer. Okay, let's see what other adventure I'm going on. I'm going back on the cruise ship. All righty. One dollar. Did I not pay for my cruise ship before? I must not have because I should have had three dollars in here. Okay, paying three dollars now. It's in my cruise ship. And I need to pay the port fees and taxes. should have nine. Okay, so I did pay for these. Port fees and taxes. I'll put this up front. Darn it. Okay.
and I got to pay three dollars here. This is for my tips. Remember, I checked into my room, have a fantastic steward, so I want to give him extra tips. All right, and another two, four, and I'll put back the one, three dollars. And I'm gonna buy a drink, cause I want a drink. And that's a two dollar drink. Two, four, and five. Okay, and we didn't roll it, so let's go up here and let's go camping. Because your girl just got back from a camping trip. I love to camp. I colored this backwards last time, too, I realized. <laughs> the trees needed to be green, and I wanted to do the tent brown. Although my tent is orange and gray, but that's okay. I can do it whatever color I want. This, and let's do a brown tint. All right, so I'm going camping. I'm in my tent. That's going to cost me a dollar. Let's take the two. Come do you want to put this up front? And when I go camping and I put up my tent, I have to use four tent stakes. So that's gonna be a total of eight. So let's go five, seven, and eight for my tent stakes. And then I have to pay for my spot at the state park. And for that privilege, I am paying $2 a circle. This card doesn't have as many, but that's okay. And another $2 going in here. All righty. Now, as I said, I was realizing today, I really do need to do this binder here at $2 a piece so I can get the savings going on A Girl Needs to Shop. I'm going to take this extra cash that I have right here, and I am going to convert these to $2 each. I hope that you're having fun with this video. I find it just incredibly fun to do these challenges. I love sharing it with you. And until the next one, everybody. Bye.